7.33 here on The Daily Dose. Glad to know you're tuned in. Glad to know you like it. Here's hoping we're catching you bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Now, here at NRTV, we love to entertain, we love to educate, and we love to inform. And one thing that we stand against is drug abuse. And that's something that we talk about each and every week. And we've got somebody here who's going to come and sit down and talk to us about what's going on on the ground. He's my sasita. His name is Tinashe. Now, Tinashe, I know this. it's C. H I O C I O H C I O H. Thank you so much, Tinashe. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm good. Now let's start this. Let's start this from the beginning. So, what 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 does it, what does it stand for? It's Chartered Institute of Organic Health Trust. Right. Now we're talking about um, drug use and drug abuse. Um, what does your, your 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 trust and your body really encompass regarding that? Okay, uh, basically we are a social and environmental rehabilitation organization, meaning that we respond to various social and environmental ills, drug and substance use, suicides, um, crime, and the likes. You cover a whole spectrum. Yeah. Yeah. And um, right now, if we're looking at um, drug abuse, what is, what is the most pressing, pressing issue rather with drug abuse in our communities, whether it's in the ghetto or in the suburbs? Yeah, basically there is... Um, there's an issue around the terms that are used anyway. Because to most people, some call it drug and substance abuse, some call it drug and substance use. Right, 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 right. Why? Because like it has been realized that uh, most people who are into drug and substance use, or people who have drug and substance use behavior, they uh, are trying to run away from something, right? And those drugs and substances, they're actually helping them in a way. Like a coping mechanism? Yeah, it's a coping mechanism. Okay. Yeah. So, there is the, the, um, there's a, some kind of noise between um, drug and substance use and, sus and drug and substance abuse. So, how, how would you define abuse? Yeah, sorry? How, so, that's drug use, yeah. drug and substance use. Yeah. And yeah. then, if you're saying drug and substance abuse... You're saying that uh, as someone is abusing drugs, yet this person, yes, the drugs might not be intended for, for what that person would be using mm -hmm. it for. But for him, he's not abusing, he's using it. Okay. You, see, you understand? I don't yes, know if yes. you understand. No, no, I, I get you. I'm trying to give an example from my own experience yeah. because I have to take certain medications yeah. on a day-to-day -day basis. Exactly. Just to balance myself out. Exactly. That's drug use. Yes. Now, if I take them, yeah. when I don't have to take Or somebody, for example, you, Sazita, would just come and take my medication because it mellows you out. That's drug abuse. Because it's balanced me off. My prescription uh, It's not about kunakiru as such. It's about balancing the thing. But there are... Yes, but if it's working for me, uh -huh. I can take it. All right. right. Okay. Yo, boys, what, what, one thing that we need to understand is, um, you know, if you get into the shoes of those people who use drugs and substances. Right. Um, in my experience since 2014, uh, to be honest with you, I've never, uh, I've, I've never talked to someone who has been enjoying using drugs and substances. Right. Yes, if you, if you, if you talk to them from afar, they will tell you that uh, there's no equation, something like that, but it's just because they're trying to numb the pain, you know, because they are used to being attacked. Sure. But if you sit down properly, talk to them nicely, they will tell you that, you know what, my brother, I'm not enjoying this, but I cannot face my life when I'm sober. Right. This is um, where you give them a safe space for them to open exactly. up. And uh, we're talking just before we started, you're saying that you have basically years, 24 hours busy. Yeah. You get phone calls, people want to reach out because those safe spaces are being created. That's something that people can now deviate from using the drugs when they find somebody they can actually talk to and then it helps, it yeah. helps out. Yeah people, yeah, people want to talk and uh, pe people are looking for spaces, right? Uh, and people are looking for ways and means to actually understand what's really going on. Because as a people, there's a lot that is going on, right? A lot of people are overwhelmed with a lot of issues. And it's, it's rather unfortunate that we focus on drug and substance use, yet we have other forms of addiction. Because drug and substance use is just an addiction. Right. Like it, it, becomes, it becomes a problem, it becomes an addiction. And in there the, we have various forms of addiction, mm -hmm. from sex addiction, fashion addiction, material addiction, power addiction, and all you name it. You understand what I mean? Yes. And though all those all those addictions, they have the same foundation, which needs to be understood. 
Right. Yeah. So if you're looking at somebody right now who has, um, I think, let's put a broad spectrum. Obviously, we're talking about drug and substance mm -hmm. use and abuse. But I, I like the fact that you said that addictions, they are way, way larger than that wider. Yeah. Um, when you're looking at it like that, how can people identify that addiction? And what kind of help can you give to somebody? Or what kind of help should they be looking for? How can we assist that person in the community? Um, basically, I think we have a lot of work to do to deal with um, as a community, because as a community we need to create safe spaces for the right. vulnerable for the vulnerable communities, mm -hmm. right? We need to create a, a space for vulnerable people for vulnerable communities, so that the way they can go and uh, share their issues without fear of being judged, right? Right. That's the first step, right? Because it's not. If a person, even no matter how much a person would want to leave these drugs and substances, if there's no, if, if the space is not conducive, that person will not, will not, will not thrive. Because, for example, I'll, look, I'll, I'll take an, I'll, I'll, I'll put it this way: uh, some, someone who's using drugs and substances, right, is more like a finger onto his family or community system, mm -hmm. right? So if you if you take blood on this finger. And you realize that the, this uh, this blood is HIV positive. It doesn't it doesn't mean the finger is HIV positive. It means the the, the whole body right. is HIV positive. So it would be naive to take a ARVs and try to put them on the finger. Just fix the finger. Just to fix the finger. Right. To, uh, in trying to address the uh, the HIV issue. Mm -hmm. It's not, you'd you'd need you need the um, the whole the whole system. I like the analogy, yeah. yeah. It is, it's, it's the community that needs to be. So right now, okay, we, we, we watch a lot of um, stuff on television. Mm -hmm. And you know you have AA meetings and you have um, ABCD where the guys are going in there and they're having these safe spaces you're talking about. Um, are we having that kind of situation in Zimbabwe where in, within the community um, are people being educated enough? Are safe spaces being created that you're aware of? Are you guys doing anything like that? Or if not, what's the problem? Why are we not being able to get to that level? Um, yeah, that's why it's a tough one because, uh, in my experience, um, I've realized that there is, uh, you know, a lot of us, we are looking for, we want to try and do away with drug and substances without even understanding what the communication that is, uh, that is being, sh that, 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 that is being presented to us because of this drug and substance use. Mm -hmm. Because for me, drug and substance use is not a problem, but it's an indicator of a problem. Right. So what's the problem? Yeah, it's, it's 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 a symptom of a exactly okay. It's more like it's more like trying to to, to trying to mask a dashboard warning light. Right, right. It's a masking you know, tape. Exactly. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Yes, you are no longer saying that the light is indicating, but it doesn't mean that the problem is gone. The problem is gone. Right. Right. And right now, um, collectively, you'd realize that uh, we have a lot of um, we have a lot of messaging and a lot of um, ca awareness campaigns which are more on the stop, 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 stop. But you cannot stop a behavior just like that. You have to start from the root. Yeah, you, you, have, to, you have to understand the root. It's very important. That is, oh, man, you know, we never have enough time to have these discussions. It's such a big, big discussion to have. Yeah, I know true, you guys are doing so much fantastic work. Yeah. Now, I know there are a lot of people, of course, out there who are also wanting to partner, people who might want to find out more information, maybe on a personal stance, mm -hmm. um, as somebody who's experiencing this in their lives as part of uh, either yeah, the finger or part of the body mm -hmm. within the community. How can they get more information about what kind of fantastic work you guys are doing and how you guys can assist or how they can assist you? How can they find you? Yeah, they can, uh, they, they, can, they can reach us on, um, on, on, on my mobile. My mobile is 0716-641-253. Or they can, I think, um, uh, Tinashe Elvis at yep. IG. Uh, Tinashe Elvis Chikodzi, Facebook. We also have, yeah, CIA info, C-I-O-H. Dot org dot ZW. Fantastic. Yeah. You guys are doing some fantastic work. And the thing about it is, if you want to get more information, if you didn't get a chance to see the stuff that was being posted up on screen of all the contact details, do make sure you check us out on our social media platforms. If you want to reach out and have a conversation, no matter whether you're coming in as a donor or a partner, or you're coming in as a person who needs that kind of help and needs more information, make sure you follow us on our social media platforms as well. If you got them from Tinashe Sazita, like, subscribe, follow, get up to date, get educated, get more knowledge. We're talking about about something that's a 
a huge deal in a matter of a few minutes. There's no way we could possibly cover this yeah. in eight minutes. Tinashe Bdo, thank you so much for coming through and raising that awareness. And I love the fact that you've actually opened my mind about certain things in that short <laughs> space of time. Thanks, now, eh? just make sure you follow them. Thank you so much for coming through. All right, thanks, eh? It is a daily dose here on NRTV. We're going to take a quick break. Sazita in the beauty. We're going to take some selfies with some celebrities. Ish, I can't even imagine how feel your phone is always crazy, Jirina. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. I can't be that one. But you know what? I, su I support and I salute the people out there doing the work. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. It's a daily dose on NRTV.